Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video on focus from a Christian's perspective, as you can tell from the title of this video. More so on why it's important to have in life as individuals. But before we get into that, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time that I post a new video. Other than that, let's get into this video. Um, so I'd like to start this off with a Bible reading so we, it can guide us on how we're going to go through this video. I'm using the Holy Bible New International Version. You guys can use whichever version that you are comfortable with. And you can read from any gospel that you choose to. Uh, but I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 14 from verse 25 to 31. Okay. Um, so shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning and beginning to sink, he cried, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? So that is the reading, and the key points to take out from that I found in this reading were I found three key points that is the start expectations expectations and distractions I'm not going to touch on expectations in this video specifically maybe I'll make a separate video about that let me know if you guys want that so today I'll just be focusing on the two um, main points of the reading which is um, the start and the start and the distraction. First, what does focus mean? What does it mean to be focused to begin with? According to Google, focus is basically directing one's attention towards something or accomplishing something. So basically, putting all of your attention or the right of your attention to something. So it's got to do with your attention. So that's focus. Um, an example of that would be like on an iPhone when you decide to take a picture in portrait mode it tends to like focus on you and it blurs everything out so focus in that regard would then be that you're focusing on whatever it is that you planned out to achieve and you're blurring out everything that may be a distraction for you so you blur out everything and just focus on what you're trying to accomplish so in life we tend to go through life moving from A to B to C to D and sometimes we jump around like from A, we go to A and then we go to Z and then we're back to B and so on and so forth. And more often than not, I found that we tend to move to the next mission or the next hobby without really completing or enjoying the first one. And that is where the problem lies. So that is where the problem lies. And in terms of Peter's story, so the way we can look at it is that Peter wanted to get to Jesus by walking on water. So he was confident when he was jumping out of the boat when um, after Jesus called him up. He was jumping, he got off of the boat, he was confident, he was walking, he was actually walking on water until he started seeing distractions. This is where distractions come in. So he saw distractions and that's what caused him to lose focus about where he was trying to go. He wasn't focusing on where he was going towards deep, uh, towards Jesus, but 
Instead of focusing towards getting to his end goal, he got distracted by the wind and the soaring sea and whatever. And then he started sinking because he lost focus. So that's the same thing that tends to happen to us in terms of we get distracted. We also saw something like when you're starting something new, everyone is excited. Like you're excited. This is you are confident that okay, you can. This is what it's gonna do this for you. Like starting a new job or I don't know, studying a new subject. You're excited. You're confident. You I don't know. You just have that whole fire because it's something new that you're just starting. And then after that, you allow distractions to come in. After you allow distractions to come in, then you're no longer focused. You start focusing um, on things like fear. Um, you start doubting yourself, like what if this doesn't work? You're scared that um, you might not be able to reach your goal, say on time, or you're scared that you might not be able to get what you want out of what you were trying to do to begin with. Like you're losing focus, and by distraction, distractions aren't always negative, as in fear and doubt and procrastination. Uh, this distraction can also be like good things yet, yeah, but they are still distraction nonetheless. For example, you could be busy with A and then suddenly you pop up and you have a new idea. Before you even finish with this one idea, you're now starting with a new idea and then it tends to you having to multitask. So none of the ideas that you have, now you have two things happening at the same time and none of them have your full attention because you're multitasking. And yeah, that's what I mean by distractions. So distractions can are not always only bad or negative. They can also be positive, but at the end of the day, they are still distraction, and they are leading you to lose focus on achieving what you want. Especially, especially on time, it's almost like procrastinating because if you are focused on one thing, you get to accomplish it within a certain amount of time, like a shorter period than if you were doing multiple things at once. So if you're doing multiple things at once, you are now like your your time is kind of divided and you take longer to to finish one or both of them at the same time. But why exactly is not having focus such a bad thing? Like, why is it important for one to have focus in their life? Why is it important to pay attention to what you're trying to accomplish? So, the reason why it's important, as Brandon would say, is because without focus, you're basically losing your life. Or I would say, you're wasting your life. Because if you think about it, in a relationship, if you're not paying attention to your significant other, then the relationship dies because they feel neglected. The same vice versa, if they're not paying attention to you or the relationship in general, then the relationship tends to die. It doesn't really get far. It's the same with school. If you don't pay attention to your schoolwork, like you need to study for an exam or whatever the case may be, if you're not paying attention to what is being said by the teacher or reading, like focusing on your studying, then you end up failing. And work is the same thing. If you're not focused, you end up fired. If you're not focused, you're not going to everything even if you're an entrepreneur if you're not focused on the end goal it tends to shut down before you even get anywhere in life so basically you're wasting your life away if you do not have focus it plays a significant role in basically all aspects of life i guess be it in faith uh career um, relationships you name it if you think about sit down and think about it you everything needs attention at a certain time how do we fix it? So by fixing it, um, I've got four tips. One, which again, I got from Brandon. I like this idea. This one I wasn't aware of. Making fewer decisions. This was like a mind-blowing bugle when I found out. So make, <laughs> making fewer decisions. So why is making fewer decisions good for you to have focus? If my English even clear, why is making fewer decision um, a good thing in terms of building your focus? So, uh, when you are making decisions, basically your mind is working. You decide, A, I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing, say, business B. We're gonna achieve it. We, this is what is gonna come out of it, and this and this and that. Next thing, you decide, oh, I have a new idea. So you decide, okay, we're gonna start with this. 
So by adding more decision or even um, within one decision you put more decision you kind of like keep like blurring from the end goal because you're thinking too much about all these decisions and you have to keep track of all of them and you overwork your brain so much that you can't focus. Like have you guys ever been in such a situation whereby you, there's so many things happening like you've made so many decisions so everything is happening at once that you get overwhelmed and you can't exactly focus or pinpoint one thing so you just end up stuck in a phase of what I call limbo so that's basically the same thing so by making fewer decisions you're able to just focus like you just decide okay today we are going to do A and decide you're not going to make any more decisions until A is done that way you won't you don't need to think about B or C or D or anything outside of A. You just focus on A because that's the only decision you've made today. And only after A is done then you can decide, okay, now we're gonna do B. So by making fewer decisions, you're more focused and can accomplish your things quite easily. Number two is planning. I have a separate video but this I think I'll upload it after this one. So uh planning is very important. Like the Bible said, there is a time for everything. I think everyone knows this by now. There's a time for everything. So by planning, um, so having a proper plan of like when this should be done, kind of like that um, helps you stay focused because you know that. So from for in this week, this is what needs to be accomplished. So you just focus on what you want to do this week. Now focus about what needs to be done the week after or a month from now because those are all long term. So if you have everything in order, I guess it also goes hand in hand with organizing your work. So by having everything in order, you, you make fewer decisions because you know it's everything is in order. This needs to be done by this and this needs to be done by that. So you can focus on one thing at a time because everything is set out in an orderly fashion. Number three have an intention I love this word have an intention so with everything that you decide to do everything that you're trying to accomplish have a purpose like an end goal don't just be wandering around by having an end goal you can always like especially in that moment but whereby because I feel like some people move on to the next mission without really completing another one because they lose momentum or the the whole excitement that you had in the beginning when you started off you lose it and then you forget why you started it and um, to begin with but if you have an intention or a purpose for what you're trying to achieve if you have an end goal you can or whenever you're feeling like okay I'm tired or I'm bored you keep reminding yourself okay this is what I'm trying to achieve why do I want to achieve this this is why I want to achieve this and then kind of brings back the whole momentum and refuels you so that you can keep going so you can accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish and lastly number four Celebrate the little victories, celebrate your milestones. Like set out tiny milestones, even if it's a daily milestone, a weekly milestone. Because I feel like people don't really enjoy their journey. Like you just work, 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 work. But celebrate that because the, the little effort that you are putting in, you need to celebrate it and enjoy it. I think that everyone should enjoy their journey. Like enjoy the journey, enjoy the fruits of your labor. So a bit the little things, a little milestones. And with that, I'd like to close up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other suggestions you guys would like me to do. I'm really going to be doing the video on planning. I might upload it today or tomorrow. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and get them to subscribe as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.